Hello and welcome back. This is continuation of what we did last time. The link for the previous video is in the description. So we created this app that helps in technical analysis of some leading stocks. When I started using these charts for my trading account, I realized uh, probably we need one more thing because sometimes when you look at recent data and you want to have a closer look. So instead of 180 days, let's say I only want to focus on maybe 90 days or 30 days. I thought probably it will be useful if I can provide some options here. So that's what we plan to do today. So let me close this and go back to the code. So after the text input, so I'm going to put a comma here and hit enter and type select input so that we can provide options for a user to select from some given options. We are going to call it days. It could be 180 days, 90 days or 30 days. Above these selections, it should say select days. I'm going to provide only three options. So last 30 days, 90 days and last 180 days. So for my trading purposes, I'll be happy with those three options. And now we can go in the server and where it says subset instead of specific 180 days, we can say input dollar and days. So by days, I mean this days that we have used. So with these two changes, I'm going to save this and go back to running the app. So you can see now it also gives me select days option and default is the first one because last 30 days was the first one and then you can go to 90 days or three months or 180 days. So for example, in 180 days, these prices may not be that clear, but if we go to 30, so we can see these lines and how close these moving averages support certain prices becomes more clear. Let me look at uh, one stock that I traded today, KSS. This is a retailer and you can see that after coming down, 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 it is finding some support at these levels where these moving averages seem to converge. If you look at a bigger picture, you can clearly see that it is trying to now go up, having fallen for several days. If you look at Apple, it has been following this red line very closely. It has not fallen to the blue line for a very long time. So you can see that th this trend is hugging this five day exponential moving average very closely. Whereas this blue one, which is 20 day exponential moving average. So it stays away from there. I hope you find this useful. See you soon.